me and Hammond, two people. The difference is, and I will say this about Hammond. Okay, hold, hold on. Before you go to no, Hammond. No, no, really quick. No, you no, you and Hammond never came face quick. to face either? No. I would, okay, go ahead. If I get the opportunity to meet Hammond, I would apologize. If I met Hammond, I would apologize. And okay, it's not so even me. It's not even my fuck up. But I would just on GP make amends with the man. Why? Because now that I look back at it, I recognize that the word play that we did and how he took it, I understand how it could be offensive. I don't like how he handled himself and I don't want to talk about that, but I would, I would make amends with the man just because I could see it from his perspective now. I have a clearer vision of it than, what, than I did before. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I had this funny conversation with Quest Love. He said, you know, what's crazy, Search, is that record was, it went from the Antichrist to being a record that makes people laugh when I play it today. People enjoy it. Put smiles on people's faces. You know, what happens with time, especially with music, is it, it, it mellows you, puts you in a different zone. You know, and there's un, there's no denying that Ice Ice Baby was a was a huge hit. It was a hit, huge a hit and a half, monster, monster. But I didn't see it as a hit back then. What I saw it as is a huge roadblock, a bridge that was opening, a drawbridge that opened that prevented the rest of the culture to get across. You, you, you know, I sat down with um, Dr. Dre, and I'm talking about uh, Dr. Dre and Ed Original Love. concept, yeah. And I asked Dre about, because what many people don't realize is you and Hammer, um, it could have went down during the final episode, the final taping of Yo! MTV Raps, if I got my facts straight. You do. And I asked him, I said, what happened? Like, why didn't it go down? And he was like, Prez, it's because of us. There was, there was no security there that day. He was like, that was such a moment in hip hop that even though it was people in the building that clearly had problems with one another, they had more respect for us than the problems that they had for one another. And they understood if it went down in that building, that it would mess it up for all the hip hop. Do you see it that way that when it could have definitely went down with you and Hammer um, and, and, and you was rolling deep that day, <laughs> did you look at the, the landscape and say, I can't do this here? You know, no, I got to get know, you know, and, and, and I do want to, I, I want to correct something that I said on an interview um, that I think I need to um, correct. Um, I had said uh, previously in an interview that, you know, we were rolling deep and there were certain people that were holding, that was inaccurate. That's just not accurate. I, I remember it a lot differently today than I remembered it when I did that interview. Um, I was rolling deep. I had a lot of people with me. Um, after I rhymed and after everybody rhymed, Ed Lover came up to me and said, yo, Ham is here. Look, you know, why don't we make peace? Why don't you? Last show, why don't you give each other a pound and hug it out? There was no hugging. There was no hugging out, you know, um, for me. And um, I remember that as soon as I said no, it was kind of whatever. We all hugged it. You know, we all were giving each other pounds. I was with Chub Rock and all of that. And um, I remember looking around. I remember I was with my man Sabak. I was with my man DJ Eclipse. And I and I said prior that um a lot of my homeboys for nonfiction were there. It's not accurate. Ill Bill wasn't there, Gore-Tex wasn't there, Necro wasn't there. I remember it differently. I had other heads with me, but they weren't there. Um but I wanted, I definitely did not want him leaving the state of New York uh upright. Um, I didn't really know how to do it because I was unprepared, but I was so mad at how 
he handled, how it's all handled, that I just wanted to handle it myself. And um, I didn't care. At, at that point, I didn't care if I went to jail. I didn't care if I got killed. I just wanted to deal with it because I was so angry. I was so mad and I was so, I don't even know the word to express my emotions. Um, but I felt like a victim and I shouldn't feel like a victim because I didn't do anything wrong. I was a guy who was at the spotlight of it because I was still in the spotlight. But the dude who made the comment, the dude who made the line, the dude who wrote that, no one ever stepped to that dude because no one cared about that dude. At the end of the day, he became inconsequential. You know, at the end of the day, he didn't contribute another lick to the culture that made any difference. He's a collector. And his contributions to the culture besides the music he made with me is that he's a collector. I'd like to believe I've done a little more than collect. I'd like to believe that my contribution to this culture is music, it's fashion, it is getting artists on the radio, it is music integration, it is getting artists who deserved a shot, a shot. Um, I don't know. I, I, I just see our contributions very differently. And I see the ability um, and how to uplift this thing a little differently. And um, at that time back then, I was so, if you see my face, and you watch that freestyle. I'm watching Rock Kim, and I'm I got a face like I'm a ten year old fanboy. Like I'm 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 cheesing. I got a I mean everybody's rhyming, and I'm cheesing, and I'm che and I'm just like I'm just in fan mode, total fan mode in that moment. Um, and then it pivoted real quick when they told me he was in the building. But you're right. But Dre is right, and Ed is right, and T. T money was right. And all those dudes were right. Like it was them. There was not going to be anything that got set off um, in that building. It was just, wasn't going to happen. It was, there's too much good feeling. Yeah, that was an incredible day. Um, and it's, you know, it's these pivotal moments in hip hop. It's these moments just in life. That was one of them. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was a day of celebration. Um, for anybody who had a chance to live through it, watch it as a fan, yourself, participate in it. Um, so I'm so happy it didn't go down. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.